learn about morphology in flowering plants. The next question says plants with jointed stem and hollow internodes are known as they are known as either the clumps, the scape, the epimerals or lianas. What exactly are the lianas or the epimerals or the scape or the clumps are called as? So what are what is a scape? Scape is a leaflet shoot, leafless shoot in case of onions, which terminates into a flower or an inflorescence. So scape cannot be the answer because it is a leafless shoot terminating into a inflorescence in case of a bulbs bulbs of a onion specifically so scape cannot be a answer so epimerals what are epimerals they are the short leaf structure it is ephemeral is a term used to denote short leaved so ephemerals cannot be the answer coming to the option d lianas what are lianas lianas are the woody climbers so lianas are not the option so clumps clumps are the option because they are usually seen in case of when we take a bamboo as an example you can solve this question because the best example for the clumps is the bamboos wherein clumps are the one wherein the cluster of stems develop develop in a group with the nodes and the halo internodes so the best example is the bamboo the the best example for clum is a bamboo when you think of a bamboo you can solve this question the clum is the appropriate answer The next question, bulbils take part in sexual reproduction, respiration, transpiration or vegetative reproduction. What exactly is a sexual reproduction? Sexual reproduction is a process wherein the, there is an involvement of gametes for the purpose of, for the purpose of fertilization and the zygotes are formed which in turn divides into uh, to form a new individual so sexual reproduction involves a fusion of gametes so this option is not available in the bulbils bulbils are the vegetative structures seen in case of agave or in case of dioscoria etc so bulbils are not involved in the process of sexual reproduction so option a is rejected they are not involved in the respiration not transpiration if at all we have to connect respiration and transpiration in this particular topic we need to go to the nematophores or something connected with the thorns etc so bulbils are no way connected with the respiration not transpiration so all the three above options are discarded the best option is option d vegetative reproduction wherein in case of dioscoria or in case of agave the bulbils are developed uh, the bulbils are developed a short bulb like structure are developed which in turn which in turn give rise to a new individual that is how they aid in the process of vegetative reproduction so the best option for the bulbil is vegetative reproduction Next question, turmeric is a stem and not a root because it stores food material, it grows parallel to soil surface, it has nodes and internodes or it has chlorophyll. So turmeric is a stem and not a root. Of course 
turmeric shows stem modification in the form of rhizome but it also helps in the storage of food material and of course the rhizome also grows parallel to the soil surface so though the option a and b are connected with the uh, turmeric but they are not going well with the present question what does the question speaks about turmeric is a stem and not a root why because the key character of a stem is the stem possess the nodes and internodes that is how it is differentiated from that of the other parts of the other parts of the plants especially the root so the best option or the appropriate answer is it has nodes and internodes is the one which makes a, a turmeric a stem and not a root The next question says stem is very much reduced in tuber, comb, bulb or rhizome. Stem is very much reduced. So when we take the option A, C and D again all these are the stem modification wherein they are, they are modified for the purpose of storage. They are swollen in structure but however in the bulb the leaves, the leaves are actually swollen or they have become fleshy, fleshy. But in case of the stem in the bulb is highly reduced to form a disc like structure. In case of when you take up an example of onion, you will definitely notice that the bulb is the better option because in the bulb, the stem is reduced to a disc like structure. So hence the bulb is a better option compared to tuber, comb or Right, so the appropriate answer is bulb. The next question says stem modified into flattened photosynthetic structure is phyllode, bulbil, phylloclade and tendril. Stem modified into it should be flattened and also photosynthetic structure. The question says it is a photosynthetic structure modified the stem modified into photosynthetic structure which is flattened in nature. So when you take up a fill load, fill load cannot be the answer because it is not a stem modification. Fill load is a modification of a petiole. Hence option A fill load cannot be a, a appropriate answer. Coming to the bulbil, bulbil is not a flattened structure and of course it is not modified for the purpose of photosynthesis. It is modified for the purpose of storage. Hence option B says bulbil. Bulbil again are not flattened structure. Again they are not meant for the photosynthesis but they are meant for the process of vegetative reproduction. So option B cannot be the answer. So the option B is also discarded. Coming to the option C phylloclade. Phylloclade is a modification of a stem seen in case of xerophytes wherein the stem has become 
flat green succulent structures for the purpose of photosynthesis and the actual organs of photosynthesis the leaves have become appendage like structure small appendage like structure in case of mucklumbachia and in case of fopuntia they are transformed into a thorn like structures to check the rate of transpiration because they are growing in a xerophytic environment hence the best option is filoclade wherein the stem is modified into flattened structure and also it is serving the function of photosynthesis so the answer is filoclade Dear friends, new DVG YouTube channel subscribe to our friends. You can see the videos in the free